Hi, my name is Matt Evenson. I'm a fishery biologist with the Alaska Department of Fish and Game, Division of Sport Fish. Today I'm going to show you how to clean and fillet burbot. Here's a big, beautiful burbot that we caught yesterday on the Tanana River on a set line. And I'm going to show you in four easy steps how to clean and fillet this fish. Okay, so to fillet burbot, there's just a couple simple, inexpensive tools that you need. First tool is a good, sharp fillet knife. I recommend having some kind of sharpening device, like a little ceramic crock stick like this, so you can touch up the blade as you're working on the fish. And then you need a pair of pliers to peel back the skin with. And you can use a lot of different kinds of pliers, channel locks, slip joint pliers, nipper pliers, or even vice grips. Something that has a, a square head and some teeth on the on the end to grab the skin works best. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is remove the skin from the burbot. So what we're going to do is take our fillet knife and make a thin cut just through the skin all the way around the burbot in the back side of the head. Just apply some light pressure. This is where a good sharp knife is real handy. Burbot have a very smooth skin. Their scales are embedded, so there's no scales to remove. You can see the beautiful green mottled color they have. I cut and I kind of roll the fish as I go. And you can see I'm just cutting through the skin. You want to make your cut continuous. You don't want attached pieces of skin. Like that. So we have a cut through the skin all the way around the burbot. So now what we're going to do is remove the skin from the meat. I'm going to take my pliers and just start to peel away the skin from the flesh. So we just start and we grab the head and hold tight and we pull back. You have to work from the top and the bottom of the fish as you go. Sometimes a little bit of the flesh will stick to the skin. If it gets to be too bad, you can take your fillet knife and trim it off so it doesn't rip too much off. Like here we have a little bit of flesh sticking, so I'm just going to trim that back. You can go all the way off the back of the tail. There, we've removed all of the skin from the part of the burbot that we want to fillet. The next thing we're going to do is to remove the dorsal and the anal fin. Okay, so we'll start with the dorsal fin. And we'll take our pliers and we'll start at the back edge of the fin. And we'll grab it right down near the base. And then what we're going to do is sort of lift up and pull the dorsal fin toward the front of the fish. It should just unzip pretty nice. All the way up. Okay, so next we're going to remove the anal fin. So we'll turn the burbot over onto its back. And we'll do the same thing. We'll start at the back end of the fin and zip it toward the front of the fish. So now we're ready to start doing our filleting. Quick touch up of the fillet knife. And you can see where the, the dorsal fin was makes a real nice guide. So we want to be just on the side of the backbone. And we cut straight down until we hit the ribs. You can hear me running right along them. So there's the, the spine and then there's the ribs. So then once we hit the ribs, we want to cut sideways out to the end. So we just run our knife on top of the ribs. And 
You might want to make a cut at the top. Now we have the top part around the ribs off. So now we want to start cutting it all the way through on the tail section. So I usually like to start the, the top part and go all the way back. And then once you get past the, the spine, you kind of put your knife at a downward angle and cut it right off. There's one finished side fillet. And what I like to do with these, after I get them cut off, stick them in a cold water bath with a little bit of salt in it. The salty water helps bring out the blood and slime. And we'll just let that soak in there until we're all done cleaning the fish. So next we're going to do the left side fillet. So I always reposition the fish the other way. This is a sort of a personal preference kind of thing, but I always like to work on the fillet away from me. So I do the same thing. This time I work on the other side of the spine. I cut the front laterally a little. Then I start following the ribs out toward the side. get to the back of the ribs. I can go all the way through for the tail. You want to keep your knife angled just a bit so that it, the blades always has pressure on the spine. That will ensure you get most of the meat off. And we'll trim it all the way back to the tail. There's the completed left side fillet. And we're going to put this in our salt water bath just like we did the right side. Okay, now we're going to finish the fillet in the burbot. We're going to cut off the, the belly fillet. So we turn the burbot over on its back. What we're going to do is cut out this triangular shaped piece of belly. We'll start at the front and cut through from side to side. All the way back to where our last side fillet cut ended. Then what we want to do is work our way back right along the edge of those rib bones, getting as much of the meat as we can. I like to work with my knife on the inside and cut toward the back. Like that. And you can see that this fish is a big mature female. There's two big egg skeins. So I'm going to turn the fish around and I'm going to cut the rest of the belly meat off this side. You can see the rib bones sticking through there. We want to cut just along the tops of them. Okay, so now we have a big, nice triangular piece of belly meat, and we're going to stick this in the water salt bath just like we did the other two pieces. And we'll rinse those off good here, and then we'll take them to the sink and rinse them a little bit with some fresh water. So there you can see the final product, two side fillets and the belly fillet. Okay, so if you're going to freeze these fish, I usually freeze them in a Ziploc bag, and then I add a little bit of water to it before I stick it in the freezer just to keep it from drying out and freezer burning. So there's a number of ways you can prepare and cook these burbot. The Department of Fish and Game has prepared a recipe book that's available online or you can come by our office and pick one up. This got a number of good recipes in here. So I hope you enjoyed the video today and are successful the next time you're filleting a burbot. And hopefully we'll see you out on the river. Good fishing. Mm -hmm.